This is Eris. Like 99.99% of Whippets, she is a typical Velcro dog. And this is me. I'm her Velcro human and the reason for all of her problems. She is painfully glued to me like a postage stamp, like a lid on a jar, like a tattoo, like pants on a butt. You get the point. She got used to me working from home since the day she came here. A routine I never wanted to switch, but changes are necessary sometimes. And so, this lifestyle we all loved changed and neither me nor Eris are a fan of it. But unlike myself, she got used to it. I don't like it yet and probably never will, but that's a whole different story. Today I'll tell you all about this transition and how she accepted it. Before that, if you're new here, I'm Adi and I've had Whippets for 15 years. I'm currently owned by 7 of them and I make breed specific videos to help existing and future Whippet owners. If that's your type of content or you want to learn more about the breed, you can subscribe and join our growing Whippet family. I used to work from home full time for almost 4 years and I loved it. I saved time on commuting, I could record videos on my lunch break or before or after work. I could attend to my whippets all day, I had all the time in the world to do the things I loved without sacrificing my days off to keep up. Everything was perfect, the whippets loved it too and especially Eris. She knew nothing else but being with me all day, joining me whenever I left the house or if I went out without her it was usually usually for just a few hours. Well, we aren't married to our jobs and nothing is forever, so last summer I decided it's time for a change. The company I worked at is fantastic, but I was kinda done with the job, especially after they announced we'll be switching from remote to hybrid at the beginning of this year, a decision which infuriated me. I started searching for another one that would allow me to work remotely and with similar benefits. This was a difficult task to say the least, as I had a very well paid job with dream benefits. I found what I was looking for and switched jobs in February, but there is a catch. I have to work from the office for a few weeks before I can work from home again. Did I mention Eris is not a fan of this? Fortunately, she had a few weeks of adjustment due to the hybrid policy of my previous job since the beginning of the year. So the first day I had to work from the office, I was worried about Eris, for no reason at all, but at the time I felt like I've tricked her, since she probably thought I'd return in a few hours and for sure didn't imagine I'll leave at 9 in the morning and come back at 7 in the evening. Keep in mind my mom is home most of the day and so was the rest of my family at the time. Eris has 6 more whippets to keep her company and she is more fortunate than dogs that need to be left completely alone on occasion. But I felt horrible and these feelings were also influenced by my anger for having to work in the office after years of being a top performing employee from home. I was overwhelmed with a bunch of negative emotions but I did my best to not show this on the outside for my whippet's sake. Once this horrible day was over and I arrived home, I was told once Eris's patience expired, she was walking around whining, looking at the door, jumping at every sound, demanding attention from everyone, requesting hugs and cuddles from my mom and my sister. The drama. Of course she was over the moon as soon as I returned, but for the rest of the evening she didn't follow me anywhere and she slept in the living room. Until I went to bed, then she joined me. I thought, that's it, she doesn't love me anymore. And guys, this of course wasn't true. If there is someone who should know better than thinking such nonsense, that should be me. But sometimes when you're tired and overwhelmed, your mind is filled with not the smartest thoughts. She was just so exhausted from waiting for me all day that she crushed on the couch and stayed there. Once she was relieved, I didn't disappear forever. I worked from home until the rest of that week, but the following two weeks I went to the office three days each. And with every next day, Eris got more used to my absence. She understood I wasn't lost, I returned home around 6.30pm every time and she came to peace with the new routine. 
On my days off, she still followed me everywhere. And then I started the new job, and this is my fifth week of working from the office full time. A few more to go before I can work from home, and I can't wait. I work in a famous pet product related company, which I won't name due to privacy reasons, and the office is pet friendly, which means I can take my whippets to work. But Eris is not ready for this yet. She's still a busy youngster and I'm afraid I won't get any work done with her around. Once she settles a little more, I'll grant her the privilege to join on days when I must be in the office. I work Monday to Friday, standard working hours, but I arrive home at different times, anywhere between 5 and 6.30 p.m., depending on when I'm done with my tasks. Every day after 5, the little Velcro becomes alert to every sound, every car she hears, every time the gate or door opens, anything that indicates I'm coming home. And she is unintentionally very rude to the rest of my family, as whoever that's not me comes home is welcomed with two tail wags max and a disappointed face. Oh, it's you. Well, that's too bad. Once I'm home, she doesn't even bother to greet anyone else who arrives after me. As long as I'm back before feeding time, she's a happy pup. But wait, that's not the end of the story, because two weeks ago she had to face an even bigger change. I left on a work trip during the week, and even though it was just two hours away, my team had to sleep there, and I felt like a traitor once more. I just imagined how 5 p.m. will pass, then 6 and 7, I won't come home and Eris will still wait for me. I even checked the cameras once after 6 and my heart was crushed as I saw her pacing around looking at the door. I was told I could take her with me on that trip, but she had to stay in the hotel room. This would have been a nightmare for her, alone at an unfamiliar place, and it was better if she stayed home surrounded by her human and whippet family. But hey, she was fine, she survived, and there has been no drama. On Fridays I surprise her with returning even earlier, which she doesn't expect. Usually I advise owners to create a strict routine for their whippets. However, on occasion, no routine could be a better option. Hear me out. Routine creates expectations. If due to unforeseen circumstances the sad expectations are not met, this leads to anxiety. So in this case, it's actually quite useful that I come home at slightly different times each day. Once every few months, this might even be the day after, but I always come back. And in no time, I won't even have to leave for work every day, like in the good old days. I stick to a few rules. In the morning, when I get ready to leave, I don't speak to her. I don't explain I'm leaving and I'll get back soon. Nothing. Silence, just like in those days when I stay home. Not that she doesn't know. She won't even look at me before I head out. But speaking to her, vocally preparing her for what's to come, will create excitement and anxiety. The night I packed my bags for my work trip, I tried to do it in secret, though it didn't work. I was busted and was watched closely by a confused pair of eyes. What I managed to do in secret was to put the bags in the car the morning after, so she didn't suspect in advance something different will happen that day, other than me going to work. I know some of you would ask me, Adi, you have seven whippets, why do you only worry about Eris? I love all of my whippets and I would do anything and everything for each and every one of them. But the majority of my pack is pretty independent when it comes to the humans leaving the house. They're used to it, they don't care too much as long as we come back. Eris is a special case because she chose me as her Velcro human and she is a very painful case of a Velcro dog. She got used to being with me almost 24-7 for nearly 10 months of her young life. I can't even go to grab a glass of water without her tailing me. The level of trust I've built with her is beyond words and I wanted her to understand this huge change in the routine she's known since forever, without causing her any psychological damage, behavioral or trust issues. 
Plus, I've been extremely careful with this pup since day one when it comes to what I do with and around her, how I do it and how it translates in my aim to raise her well. In conclusion, does she love this new routine? Absolutely not and neither do I, but she accepts it and that's more than enough. I wish you a lovely weekend and a fantastic week afterwards and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye-bye!